Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and if you're watching this video when it first goes live, I hope you all are having an awesome start to the week so far. If you're watching this video sometime in the future, hope you are having a great whatever part of the week this is. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the vehicle that we're going to be talking about in this video, and that is the Volvo A40G dump truck. So, this thing is an articulated dump truck, and it's actually one of the most high quality mods I've seen in in this game recently when it comes to heavy machinery. Now, there are a lot of usable upgrades. You have the A40 dumper, which I'm going to go up to the top so I can show you. The A40 dumper, which is really the basic add-on that you need. Uh, A40 utility, which carries 200 liters of fuel and 300 repair points. Um, the fuel trailer, which you can carry if you so choose. And I'll show you guys how that looks. It's actually the tow point is right about at the right height for all the default trailers too, in case you were wondering. Um, you have the garage trailer as well. Um, we also have a modified garage trailer that's kind of the same thing. It's just different coding, and I'm not going to show it to you guys because literally it's the same exact thing visually. Um, we have this Jalskin log trailer, which if you wanted to carry lumber with this thing, you could. However, you also have a normal um, sort of sort of just standard trailer. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know if this is a dump trailer or if it's j literally just a, um, just like a hauling trailer. It might be. Um, I don't really see a dump function with it, but let me start the truck and just make sure that trailer doesn't have a dump function. So let me go into advanced mode real quick and well, oh, nope. The trailer does have a dump function. Okay. Awesome. So the trailer has a dump function as well as the truck itself, which is very, very, very cool. Um, which actually, just so, what is, oh, that's cool too. All right. So I didn't know it had that. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it off now real quick because we're not, we are not using it yet. But yeah, so diving into this thing, you realize the more and more that you dive into it, that there's little things to be found here and there that you don't really realize. And I wanted to kind of drive it around a little bit and get a feel for how it drove, but I didn't want to fiddle with everything because I wanted there to be a little bit of like surprise for you guys um, and for me, and I wanted to experience that together. But this thing is a really cool package, and now we're going to set off and drive it. And as you can see also, the interior is really well detailed. You can look around. There's nothing that seems out of place or weird. Um, the steering wheel itself does rotate, and you can see because the front end is articulated, you can actually see the entire front end rotating as you turn the wheel, which is really, really cool. Um, they put the, ga the gauges up top, which is understandable. That gate, that dash is blank. Those gauges don't work, um, but that is what I really expected. I wouldn't have expected anything dif different, and that's not a criticism. That's just me saying that I wouldn't have expected it because not really anything does that except for maybe a few mods, and it's very rare. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this thing up and see what it's like when we actually start hauling stuff with it. So the all-wheel drive is not selectable. However, the diff lock is, and I really think that for just about everything you would use this for, that that's, that's fine. I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, there are multiple different types of loads that you can haul with this thing. Now, the dumper um, that's on the truck itself takes, you know, loads of gravel and stuff like that, whereas this particular trailer can haul wood chips or potatoes. Now, the wood chips carry a higher point value. Um, they carry six points, whereas the potatoes carry four. But that's, again, that's kind of up to uh, whatever you want to do with this thing. If you want to use it to haul lumber, you've got the lumber trailer there as well. Now, the thing is about this vehicle, you could use it for in-game objectives because these modded loads also count for in-game objective points. However, if you wanted to use it in a bit more of a role-play fashion and actually, you know, dump these loads out, you could, you genuinely could do that, and I'll demonstrate that up here, because it's not really something, it's not really a dynamic that we normally get to use in this game, you know, it's more like, pull up to your drop-off point, click a button, and your load just magically disappears, which is cool, but I think the actual, like, the ability to, you know, to go and dump a load somewhere actually actually adds to the experience, so, and if you're actually thinking about, like, hey, I want to sort of, like, role play my own mining company you know that might actually be a usable gameplay dynamic for that you know for you so we'll go up here to the lumber um pickup point the log station and let's see we'll put it in high high is about the equivalent of like well it's weird because it's like you can get into it like it's second but when you put it back in automatic it's like oh we're going up to fourth now so as you can see we've got the the medium logs don't fit the long logs don't fit but the normal A40 dump load fits, and it's just rocks, basically. So now we'll switch over to the trailer, and the trailer has a couple different options. It has wood chips, which look like this, and then it has 
potatoes. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys what happens when we dump it out. So I, I want to see if it'll actually do it. I don't know if it will or not, but... It doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to because the back end is just pretty much like... The back end is pretty much closed up and you ha you would have to go in and click drop load. Um, let's see. That's that load. And then... Let's see. Two... And it just counts as lumber in the trailer, basically, because it's really just a different rendering and naming of lumber itself. But that, you know, that's kind of one of those things where it's like, ah, it's not really a big deal. So let's go ahead and lower that guy back down, and we'll load it back up with the potatoes, because I've never actually put the potatoes in the trailer. I've only ever used the wood chips. So let's switch back to the main camera. Drive this thing forward just a little bit. And let's go ahead and, oop. Yeah. Potatoes. Okay, so it's literally just like a different looking truckload, and that's about it. So, oh my god, switch to the Volvo. I was going to say, thank you, come on. So now, we've got four points in the truck itself, and we've got four points in the trailer, which is really good because that gives us an all-around eight-point load. Now, I don't know if you would ever really see one of these hauling a combination of gravel and potatoes, but... I mean, hey, if it works, it works. So, you can definitely feel the weight. The weight is very pronounced. They did a good job of making you feel like your truck is, you know, a lot heavier now. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It does understeer this thing. I know it wasn't really made for performance driving, and it didn't really have performance driving in mind. But me being me, I have to talk about driving dynamics a little bit, and... Understeer is definitely a prevalent characteristic of this particular vehicle. Yeah, oversteer is not really a thing here. I mean, it could be. If you got really out of shape and threw it into a corner like mad. But, ooh, actually, I've just realized that that bridge is not the bridge, but like the gate is going to be very much so closed off for us. So now it's time to see what this thing's off-road capability is like with a proper load behind it. Now, I do know that high range will eventually just... Yep, it'll eventually just burn itself out. Now, the tires, though, they're so huge that they don't really ever spin, which is kind of nice because you don't have to deal with digging into the ground, but you kind of also have to deal with, like, other byproducts of that, so to speak. And I don't know if I want to try to cross here. I'm probably going to sink if I try, but... Is it worth it? I mean, we've already completed this map God knows how many times. So let's just see what the water fording capability is. And let's see if we can drive along the edge. I doubt it, but... Oh my god! Okay, yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Wow! That... Oh no! Well, our trailer's not in a good place. At all. The trailer could stay there. Not really worried about the trailer. But let's see, out of curiosity, out of sheer curiosity, I wonder if it can drive up on top of the blazer. I know that's not really what it's for, but hey, we've got it here, and we've got a blazer sitting there. Let's see if we can monster truck the blazer with this dump truck. And really, I mean, you guys know what it looks like on this map to take a load of, you know, lumber or really whatever else to the, um, you know, to the drop-off point, so... I really don't need to demonstrate to you guys what that looks like. I just more need to demonstrate to you guys how this thing drives with a load in the back. Um, and also towing one. So I feel like I demonstrated that fairly effectively. And I also demonstrated what happens if you try to, you know, kind of skate yourself along the edge of a river with this thing. It doesn't do it. It doesn't, it doesn't do it at all. And, wow, it doesn't really, doesn't really have the approach angle to climb on top of that thing either. So, really, at the end of the day, is it an extremely useful vehicle? Absolutely, and could I see it being used within a map scenario? Definitely. But, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And, this thing is actually on the Steam Workshop. If you want to check it out, all you gotta do is look up Volvo A40G in the, in the Mudrunner Workshop, and you can, uh, you can pick it up. So, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.
Just so you guys know, I'm running a Let's Play series on Monster Jam Steel Titans on the channel now, and if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend going and checking it out if Monster Trucks and Carnage and Destruction and just literally throwing a vehicle all over the place is something you're interested in, uh, then again, I definitely recommend going and checking it out. I'm really having fun playing through that game, and I'm also having fun sharing that playthrough experience with you guys, so if that's something you're interested in, again, make sure you head over to the channel and check it out. We already have about three or four episodes already live, so make sure you check it out, and I will, again, see you guys later.